Lenora Sutola, and I am the commentator for this Mass. In order to show proper respect for our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, as well as to provide a reverent environment for private prayer, we ask that reverence be maintained as you enter and as you leave after Mass. Also, please silence all mobile devices at this time. Jesus offers himself as the new Paschal Lamb for the life of the world. Jesus commands his followers to remember him in the breaking of the bread. He is the Paschal Lamb whose blood is poured out for the sake of the world. When we remember Jesus' salvific actions at the Eucharistic table, we give thanks to him and to the Father who sent him. Our celebrant for this Mass is our pastor, Father Jean, and the intention is in thanksgiving to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Please stand and join together to sing the entrance song. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastened in his senses will to make known the wicked oppressing us he is from distressing. Sing praises to his name, he forgets not his own. Beside us to our God is us joining. His kingdom divine is the love that we choose. So from the beginning, the fight that we were winning, you, Lord, were at our sides of glory beyond. We call to exalt the early. Good evening, everyone. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. On this sacred night, when the Lord Jesus gave himself, his body and blood, to become food to nourish our soul and our spirit, we give thanks to God for his great love for us. There are times we have not been faithful to this love. Let us ask for his love and for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that he greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most evil thought. Therefore I ask all the angels
brothers and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is arranged with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, 
On the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If the family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorstops and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bones. Our blessing cup is the communion with the blood of Christ. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. 
brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body, that is, for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestow on him the name which is above every name. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour has, had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, the son of Simon, the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, Fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel round his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon so Peter said to him, Master, then, not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. 
Jesus said to him, Whoever has breath has no need except to wash his feet, except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who will betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed the feet and put his garments back in and reclined the table again, he said the blessing. He said to them, Do you realize what I've done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to watch one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening. The Lord be with you. Today's celebration is like a bird that has two strong wings. Today is the institution of the priesthood. when the Lord Jesus created the priesthood and his name. It is also the feast or called the Last Supper, Eucharist. When Jesus used ordinary bread and wine, to transform them into his body, into his blood, to feed us. To have the Eucharist, we need priests. And the priest's mission is to feed God's people with the Lord Jesus, body, blood, soul and divinity in his word. There is that movie that is the last emperor. A question was asked to the last emperor as what do you do when you make a mistake? When you commit an error, what do you do? The response was, I take it upon my servants. They pay the price. My friends, tonight, the Lord Jesus gave us, he shows us what is contrary? When we commit mistakes and error, when we sin, Jesus came and he paid the price for us. Let me repeat. When you and I sin, Jesus pay the price for us. And today, no wonder Peter did not want Jesus to touch his feet. Because in his world, Peter understood that only someone as very low in society will wash someone's feet. But not the master, the Lord Jesus. 
So Jesus not only fed his apostles with himself, but he also gave a model to follow, to be humble, to serve, and to wash each other's feet. Because he himself did that for us. You and I don't have enough to pay for our, prayer, for our sins, for our failures. But he came and paid the price for us. And as often you and I receive the Lord Jesus in the Eucharist, we become his ambassadors to tell the world that Jesus is love. As often we partake in his body and blood, we go out and tell the world of his love we have received. Today, let this mass be for you our motivation to begin a new life with the Lord, a life of service, of giving yourself for others. And you can do that, or we can do that in simple ways. Spouses, do the little extra for the other. For example, your wife, your wife might say to you, you ought to take the garbage today, every Friday. You know what? Now do more than that. Your friend might come to you to ask, just for something so simple. If you are able, go to extra for them. As he served, wash our feet, he asked us to do the same. Find a way to wash other people's feet in simple ways. You can choose to be much kinder to your spouse, to your neighbors, to your friends, to your coworkers. Make the choice each day as simple as it is, to remind the world that Jesus came and died for us, that he gave himself for us. Make the choice to tell the world that he came so that we can have life through him. Do not just do what the world expects you to do, but do what Jesus wants us to do. Wash each other's feet in small, simple ways. I have given you mother to follow, as I have done for you, so you must also do for one another. And the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit,
to you, that you serve one another, as I have served you, that you serve one another, as I have served you, like this shall all men know that you are my disciples.
As we give thanks to God for the gift of the Eucharist, let us now offer him our prayers. For church leaders, may the Lord continue to conform them evermore to his heart in humble service of love for his people. Let us pray to the Lord. For a greater respect for life throughout the world, from conception through natural death, let us pray to the Lord. For all whose lives have been ravaged by religious persecution or violence, may the peace of Christ uplift and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the Holy Spirit help us to always be a Eucharistic people who share God's gift of life with the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died in the light of faith, may the mercy of our loving God usher them into the fullness of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. Loving God, as we receive the Lord Jesus, your Son, in the Eucharist, may we become what we receive. We become Jesus for those who meet on a daily basis. Lord, receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Special words from the priest of Seventies Parish. Before you today, I'm resolved to be more united with Christ Jesus and more closely conformed to Him, denying myself in confirming those promises always. 
I'm resolved also to be faithful steward, steward of his mystery of the Holy Eucharist and to other liturgical rites. Also in your presence, I'm resolved to give my best each day to serve you as God's people. As the Lord poured in my heart his many blessings, I will resolve to do my best to keep them to serve you to the best I can. I also pray, pray for me that I may faithfully do my ministry as a priest here in this parish. For the Lord and his mercy has entrusted to me in my loneliness that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. May the Lord bless us, bless my ministry here, and bless each of us that I come here to serve. For we is Lord forever and ever. Amen. These oils will be used for baptism, for the sick, for confirmation, for ordination, and also to consecrate, to bless a new, par a new parish, and also to bless a new altar. These are signs in which God want, wants to bless his people every day. Amen. broken down, cup of life is gone. Come 
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us, the Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memory of his sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is still right and just, our duty and salvation always and every year as give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For he is the true and eternal priest who in his love instituted the pattern of everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering in his memorial as we ate his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drank his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the angels, angels archangels, throne dominions, with all the hosts of heaven, we sing for glory as for our end we acclaim.
You are indeed the holy, your Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy for these gifts, we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like they do fall. It become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, it the chalice and once more giving thanks. She gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is just of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, which is salvation, giving thanks that you have held us for your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, may your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to charity, together with Francis, our Pope, but with our bishop, all the clergy, and all your people. As this Mass is offered in thanksgiving to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, by Bertha, the Mash. And for all those at this time, we pray. The repose of Mary, of Daddy, of the Light, of Martha, of Yesh, all those who have died. Prayer for those who today anniversary and birthday, those in hospital, those in home, at home, those who are traveling this time. Those in RCIA, that God may guide them along the way in the journey of faith and growth. We may also, brothers and sisters, who are falling asleep in the resurrection, and all who have done in your mercy, welcome the light of your face. Have mission us all, we pray. Pray to the poor of Ladik. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Jesus spouse, blessed our pastor, all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, with your heirs, with your life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, worth him, and him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. 
at the Savior's command grand teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that for mercy may be always free from sin, and save from all distress, as with blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on our shortcomings, on our failures, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In a constant will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. Amen. With love and hope and faith, let us share the Son of Peace, everyone. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. May Jesus' body and blood bring us all to life everlasting.
You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts of finest sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count as worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart Gift of finest sweet, come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. It's not the cup we bless and share, the blood of Christ our Lord. Do not one cup on love declare. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Give yourself to us, O Lord, then selfless let us be. Serve each other in your name, in truth and charity. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread.
After the final prayer, we will process, as always, to the Madonna Hall for adoration. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son and this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Words of gratitude to all of you for your service, for your time. For the volunteers, and so for our staff. We have Claudia, we have Carol from the parish office who are here today with us, and the whole team in the church here. Thank you all of you for being here and for your service to this church, this beautiful church. Pangling the glory of sea, corpus mysterium, sanguinis pertiosi, quem in mundi pretium, fructus ventris generosi. Rex fidit gentium. Nobis datus, nobis natus, ex intacta virgine, et in mundo conversatus, sparso verbi semine. Sumi moras in culatus, miro clausit ordine. 
in supreme nacht canae rubimens cum fratiribus observata lege plene sibis in legnibus sibum turbe duod nae sedat suis manibus Verbum caro panem verum, verbo carnem efficit, <coughs> fit sanguis Christi merum, et si sensus deficit, et firmandum carn sirenersum, Sala fides sufici, tantum ergo sacramentum, venere murser nui, et anticum documentum, novo sedat ritui, prastet fides, Supplementum sensum defectui. Genitori, genitoque, lauset jubilatio. Salus honor virtus coque. Siden benedictio procedenti ab utroque comparsit laudatio. Amen.